first, we've got something going on in the skies this weekend. Hopefully we can keep the skies clear so you'll be able to see it. With more on this weekend's meteor shower, here's meteorologist Rochelle Jay. We haven't really had a good meteor shower peak since the very beginning of the year, but this upcoming weekend, the first weekend of May, looks like we will end that streak with the Ada Aquarius meteor shower. So that'll peak the night of Saturday into Sunday, May 4th into 5th at under optimal peak conditions, you would be able to see up to 50 meteors per hour with this shower. And you'll want to find the constellation Aquarius. That's going to be in the southeastern sky. And that radiant point is actually going to be in what's called the water jug of Aquarius, which is also called the water carrier constellation. And nearby to that, you'll also be able to see Saturn, which is located in Aquarius uh, early in May and not too far off from that we'll have the crescent moon we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second as well as Mars, the red planet, not too far off. So for this Ada Aquarian meteor shower, it peaks the first weekend of May. Okay, but it's actually been active since the middle of April and will continue to be active through the end of May. We're moving through debris from Halley's Comet as we move through the densest area of debris. That's what's prompting the peak of the Ada Aquarian meteor shower. So that radiant point doesn't actually rise until early on Sunday morning the 5th, but you can look anywhere in the sky and you have a chance of finding these meteors. So you don't necessarily need to find that um, radiant point to see meteors flying in the sky. Now I did mention the crescent moon. It's only about 15% full. So because we have that crescent moon versus more of a gibbous or even full moon, there's not so much light coming from our nearest uh, celestial neighbor, the moon. So that increases our chances for seeing more meteors during the peak of the Ada Aquarius.